Previously on Stein's Gate, the Chief Priest's son. We're gonna get giggity. That's right, son. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, every fucking time. And now back to fucking up history. Hell! The Snickle Bee, back with some more Stein's Gate. We last left off, we met a whole bunch of new characters, met the guy that looked like a girl, and then we met the chick with the glasses who talks to her cell phone, and then we met uh, uh, Rentaro's match, who's also a kitty maid, and so is Mayuri, and now we're talking with Daru about John Titter and how, for some reason, he's not showing up until now in this, in this time period. What the pants? So let's see what's going on. Sorry for the wait, Daru. So there's one thing I need to know. I scan the air with my eyes once more, and then I lean clean close. The IBN 5100 has the power to destroy the world, right? <laughs> what? It doesn't have it doesn't have the power to do anything, let alone destroy the damn world. <laughs> What's this now? This world's gonna be destroyed now? <laughs> there springs my rice omelet rice. She's doing her cat-like gestures while keeping her tray balanced on one hand. Truly feline true feline agility. <laughs> Is she gonna like, I wonder like, uh, will I meet you outside of this cafe or will you always be like this, I wonder? Despite her neon 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 nonsense, Yip Ferris is the consummate professional. <laughs> master, thanks for waiting, neon neon. I'm the rest of Fun funny to call him master. <laughs> the cat girl puts the omelet rice on the table and takes a bottle of ketchup from the apron pocket. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dar is gonna start flipping out. Uh -uh. You're really pretty. I I think I love you. Please marry me. Oh my God! It's got some something written in Japanese. Use this right. The right. The world is doomed in red layers upon the omelet. The omelet's blank yellow canvas. Doomed. <laughs> Please enjoy your meal for the world ends. Whoa! <laughs> it's getting a bit close up. Dar's like, whoa! Well, the world is doomed for the wind. Ferris handwriting is so cute, it puts my omelet in danger too. Ah! It's putting my penis in danger. Ferris mm -hmm. cuteness is shattered, Dar said. I'm a cat. <laughs> Can't handle too much. Again, my look at this. Call him your fucking dick, dude, but to no avail. <laughs> I smooth out the ketchup with the bottom of my spoon, racing the ketchup words. <laughs> Aw, oh, what a waste. <laughs> I'm going to eat it either way, so shut up. <laughs> don't ya, don't ya, have you seen just be the first cup ya? Yeah, of course I'm, of course I'm participating. Ferris cup, what's that? Take a mouthful of rice, mm, omelet rice, mm. It's said you hosted around the tomb of the cafe, ya. Ferris starts dancing in place. Lou, 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 lou. <laughs> At first, I jumped around like that when people are eating nearby. Fair see if an organizer. So much I didn't ya! I'm just saying, too, if you want, Gilma. Entrance fee is 100,000 yen, includes a drink. Whoever beats Ferris gets to enjoy some Ferris. Ferris, so cooking ya! It'll never. It'll never happen. O Ocarine sucks in Rhinet. Yup, but it's so fun! No, I'm fine. <laughs> Stop shoving the omelet rice into my mouth, and I deliver a melancholy sigh. Ryan at Axis Battlers, huh? Whenever I hear that name, I remember the former champion. It's already been over two years. No, it's nothing. Forget what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds so serious now. Who was the former champion now? <laughs> he probably he probably doesn't exist. I mean, Ryan didn't even have an official tournament until about a year ago. <laughs> Gilma, you still can't forget him, can you? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I remember that you were the champion, my brother. We're, so, we're such good friends, Gilba. You were so close, you made me jealous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, she took my story and ran it with it again. <laughs> I never even said anything about him being her brother. <laughs> and I don't even know if Ferris even has any siblings. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked about stuff in front of, in, like this in front of Ferris. But it's time to let go of the past. Seize the day with your own paws. <laughs> you kind of do it now. <laughs> Stop saying that! Yeah, yeah. Their shout, their shout responds, resounds throughout the store. Her finger snaps at me. <laughs> Even though it's painful, no, because it's painful, I succeed in my brother's dying wish and perfected my skills as right now. Do you remember now? You used to say, someday the spring beast of the world will ride it. 
Ferris, bring me my coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my empty plate to Ferris. I always qu eat quickly. It's a habit I picked up naturally during my years of a run for the organization. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was to get <laughs> so she get rid of her as quickly as possible. Screw this old the slow food trend. Sure thing, but I should just moan ya. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Stop poking my leg, dude. Our <laughs> sixth edition heads back to the counter. Phew. If I had left things going as they were, I would have had to play along for another ten minutes in a fantasy world. Ferris is one of the most skilled ri Reiners I know. Darwin explains with a wry smile. She's gone undefeated in over 400 unofficial matches. Is she. <laughs> is she Rickson Gracie? Dar no, no, ignores my perfect retort. Damn. <laughs> it's so disappointing that Ferris doesn't go to, to official tournaments. She did, when if she did, no doubt. Why doesn't she? I'm sure it's for the customer. She probably doesn't want to inconvenience the store. Truly a model maid. I love her so much. Please. Also, she's my Yushi's age, so she's probably at school too. She doesn't want to inconvenience the store as she's holding the Ferris cup here. <laughs> That doesn't matter at all. The point is, Ferris is cute and cuteness is justice. Cute cat ear maids are sweet. You know what I mean. And that's all that matters, right? That's all that matters! Come on! <laughs> all right, Jesus Christ. She just starts shaking the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> Cute. Cuteness is justice! So in the end, do you bat for the 2D team or the 3D team? I, I dare say I'm by. <laughs> You're an inspiration, Daru. I know, I'm just too awesome. <laughs> I'm so awesome! Oh, you shouldn't show these answers for anything. The obsessions are Moe and Ferris. I wish you were this passionate about our experiments. <laughs> Your horrible experiments. Oh, we're back. Hello there, kitty and frog, and little funny panda thing in the corner. I had to pull Dara away from Ferris so we could return to the lab. We had arrived to find it hotter than a sauna in hell. Could open the windows, letting a small breeze blow in. It won't be enough. I blew our fan to full power and placed it on the table in front of me. Really wish we had an air, condition air conditioner. Turn on the computer. <laughs> I check our poorly translated website. This is our PC for communal use among lab members. Still uses an old CRT monitor, so it looks ancient. But don't let us look to deceive you. Our computer whiz Daru scrounged up some parts and made some mods to it. In any case, I don't spend much time on it. Must use it to update the future ga gadget laboratory homepage. Check my email, visit news sites, and browse that channel. I wonder if the new the new teeter is still posting. I see that everyone would like to know more about my time machine. I'm happy to explain. Just so you know, it's impossible to reproduce with current technology. Certain critical components won't exist until CERN events them in 2034. Time travel works by alter altering gravity. Basically, you can think of it as using the twin paradox, but that alone isn't, isn't enough to reverse time. <laughs> You're still here, Faker? You're annoying. Go away, please. Please, let me just keep masturbating to my, my Japanese-made candy porn. Uh, so, your power is gravity control, not bad, but still not enough to top tier uh, power levels. Uh, the Trump Paradox is out of your shame effect. Who gives a shit about the time machine? Give me stock prices, dude! I want to make some money! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, <laughs> I, I wrote that. It uses the typical cylinders and curved black holes, doesn't it? Just like you said 10 years ago, your time machine is a 1970 Chevy. I know all of it. Oh gosh, shut the fuck up, you disgusting. Ch ch uh, chuny scum. Ah ha 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 paradox and the air stream effects are different things. Duh. Time traveler lol. John Taylor lol. Chevy's an American car, right? I gotta go German with a BMW lol. Uh, Curry go on and command, man. <laughs> By Tipler cylinders, are you referring to the Tipler machine? Lol, what? A Tipler cylinder would be 10 kilometers in diameter, 1,000 kilometers long, half. Equal mass equal to the sun and revolve 2,500 times per second to become a time machine, lol. How do you fit that into a Chevy? If you could, a tipular machine can't travel further back in time than the moments of expiration. Enough of your delusions and that channel is not your blog. I want to hear from Titter. Uh, this is a surprise. Oh, is this directed at me? Surprise does mean people of this age already know about my time machine. Did you really encounter me 10 years ago? If so, then. Then that must have been another world line. Or I at least have not gone to the year 2000. In any case, the important. The important point is that rotating black hole has the same effects as a Tipler cylinder. <laughs> in Japanese, please! The teasing phrase used on my message is to tell an incomprehensible poster to please post comprehensibly. 
I appreciate it's that way for any culture, honestly. I mean, people write in English, please, and in German, please, and Russian, please, and hoodly ba doodly, please. That's my made up language. Hoodly ba doodly. Oh, I'm just curious. What does Luis John here say? The main hero of the anime, the familiar of ten. Aha! <laughs> A Sundere. Her voice actress is the Queen of Sundere, Sugumirie. I don't know if it's. Again, probably based on the real person, but the real the real show is called The Familiar of Zero. Tinder, Tinder came ten years ago. Source? What the fuck are curb black holes? Explain using using boobies or oh erotic what? <laughs> so many anonymous people here. Oh, Pythasian, ride your time machine. Not again more though. Uh, sources. Oh, sans delusions. Lol. Real deal. <laughs> you didn't deny. Lol. God, I hate the internet. <laughs> All aboard. You on crazy train? Prepare for train wreck. Curve time. Black time. Tra old time travel. Secret of the impossible. But how do you get black holes to spin? Don't tell me you wait until you're found one spinning naturally. That's ridiculous. How do you pass to the singularity? There's no way a, a Chevy can withstand the pressure. <laughs> Why is your explanations, John? You stupid. You want to die? <laughs> Are you stupid? You want to die, dude? Still no stock prices, please. Crash. Uh, this isn't an illusion. I know for a fact that Tinder posted 10 years ago. There's even a book about it. Search the used bookstores if you don't believe me. Yes, Chevy has a gravity distortion unit. That's what he said 10 years ago. Yes, it does have a gravity distortion unit. My time machine is not perfect. It was built by a third party who reverse engineered CERN's design. My gra the gravity distortion unit is a little unstable. First, the unit produces micro singularity and then injects electrons to induce rapid rotation. This generates a local gravity sine wave. As the time machine passes through the singularity, the gravity distortion unit regulates the pressure to ensure safe passage. I'm not a specialist, so I can't explain the mechanics any further. Let me just say that curved black holes, uh, curved black holes can can be manufactured. I assume everyone's aware of CERN's current experiments with black hole creation. Dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude! Shut up! Stable sounds dangerous. Oh fuck! Tudor's black holes are gonna swallow the Earth. It's not just a mass murder; it's gonna wipe out the entire human race. Fast prince for it's too late. Oh my god! I like how like. I feel like he's just ignoring it, like, seriously, why would, if all the things, why would you push it on this? I mean, most of the shit you're gonna get is just, like, fucking trolls and people just going, like, Bleh, saying stupid and ain't bullshit. So you won't explain it, so you can't, lol. You, how do you say the destination? The got Earth's got the missing, or didn't, didn't you know that? By the way, I pros the titter. Yo equals yo in theory, lol. Ah! I said the destination with the VGL system. That's variable gravity lock. It functions. If it functions by reading the local gravity of the destinations and locking the tippler sine wave onto that location. By locking onto Earth's gravity, it ensures that I don't end up floating in space. It uses it's, it uses four CCM clocks or CCM clocks to make the calculation, so the margin of error is negligible. Yo, he needs to. Yo, he needs to shut up. I never heard of any titter from ten years ago, lol. So the universe is deep in titter shit. Same information wasn't in the Tinder book. All you've done is post 10, ten year old copy pot co copy pasta. Anybody could do that. How do I know you're the real Tinder? Daten Samoe, my waifu, wafu. I recognize different opinions. I'm feeling more and more disappointed. Still nothing country. Nice try, I guess, but I won't be fooled, for I am Gado and I post on this. And I post on 4chan. Whoa, I, st I shouldn't waste all day in that channel. We have more important things to deal with. Namely, the phone wave. Nate's subject to change. We are an experiment. We haven't experimented with it since yesterday. Okay, so I, I, I kind of realized afterwards. So, it's still, I, it seems to that this thing that we're doing, it didn't freeze the bananas, but it still seems to be doing something that's not what it would normally do. I mean, I kind of thought, well, it would kind of melt the bananas, right? Normally, but I, I guess it wouldn't make them like, I don't know, look like that. I don't know if it would melt them like that. So it's still something. It's still doing something different. So I'm I figure out what's going on with that thing. I'm going to start to connect the phone wave names have changed to the computer. Finished setting up yesterday, and now he's about to do the quick wire work in the development room. Hey, Dar, what's what's with the X, the X68000? Uh, what is that? I say to, I ask myself. Uh, a 16-bit PC sold in Japan in the late 1980s. Its peculiar twin tower case was dubbed Manhattan-shaped. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a 20-year-old machine with specs lower than my cell phone. It's cool, duh. <laughs> so it's like the reason why some protagonists are odd-eyed, even though they're Japanese. <laughs> Not kidding you, bro. It's cool. <laughs> if it's cool, then it's cool. 
anyway, there wasn't mu there wasn't much of an option. This was the only PC we weren't using. What about your new one? No way. We don't know what could happen when it's connected to your crazy machine. It could kill the performance. Selfish bastard. Besides, we made the phone wave and it's exchanged together. It's our crazy machine. Anyway, did you do any research on the jellification? Yeah, the university this morning. Why would a banana jellify? What kind of science are we dealing with here? Anyway, I examined a sample under a microscope and found it was shredded at the molecular level. Shredded? It's not a mere fa phase transition. The banana became something entirely different. Huh. Could it have rotted? Ah, uh, there's, no, there's no, two, no way two minutes in the microwave could do that. Then I remembered about fractal structures. Oh my god, we're going through a lot of stuff. The Menger sponge thing? An example of a fract fractal structure to take, take a cube and do the following. For each side of the cube, cut a square hole in the center with one ninth of the area of the face. Each side now has eight squares. For each of these eight squares, cut a new hole one ninth of the square. Repeat an infinite number of times. I see. The result is a sponge like structure whose surface is, oh, approaches infinity as their volumes approaches zero. Interesting. Very. That's cool. Yeah, it looked like something drilled holes in. And holes in the banana, an infinite number of holes in a fractal pattern, right down to the nano level. Whoa, what could do something like that? I have one hypothesis, adding a dramatical, dramatic pause to build tension. Taru gulps, waiting for me to continue. <laughs> it's the result of the microwave's electromagnetic waves. What does that mean? If my guess is correct that our phone wave needs to change has the potential to become a weapon of unprecedented destructive power, one that could change the values of war as we know it. <laughs> I twist my lips into a maniacal grin. And then I whip out my phone and put it on my ear. It's me. We're proceeding to stage blue the plan. Soon they will they will learn the judgment day is near. And sh all shall be as Steingate wills. Resistance futile, I sell. I'll say, Kangaroo. <laughs> We're talking to your imaginary friend. I'm done with the wiring. I should get a new message here. Oh. I didn't even see that. <laughs> the final battle is, clo is, is close at hand, Nyash. You're rising, Nyash, in here. You're more pure empty than I thought, Nyash. So now that you understand what's at stake, the Red Southern Cross will soon hatch, Nyash. The time has come for Ferris to journey to the sanctuary and prepare for. I can say no more, Nyash. <laughs> <laughs> I can't respond to it. Uh, uh, I'm not even going to bother giving that a, a bit of my time. We're not your imaginary friend. I'm done with the wiring. I want to explain that he's not imaginary, but revealing that any of my contact would be a betrayal. <laughs> he's real! He's not the voice in my head, I really. Last thing I need is another enemy, especially who's one whose power and cutting rivals that of the organization. The phone wave day subject chain is now an undecipherable, indecipherable mess of wires. All we did was hook it up to a computer, yet it turned out like something McDiver would put together. <laughs> I wonder who that could be a parody of! Now we can access the microwave's terminal mode and see exa exactly what's going on in its computer brain. Well, what's next? We have bananas. <laughs> Just before I left May Queen Neon, Neon Square, May asked, Mir asked me to buy some bananas. With her money. She's too nice for her own good. Maybe she didn't consider what would happen. Oh no! But by now, you think you think she'd know that I, if I buy bananas, I'm going to experiment on them. Oh no! I'm sh Oh no! Don't take... Mirrors bananas? Oh, she's gonna be so sad when she gets back and they're gonna find her all goopy. So I put the entire bunch of bananas in the phone wave name of change. You know Mir Mir she's gonna cry if you use them all right. Use them all, right? Wasn't it her money? She donated the money to our research efforts. You don't have to use the whole thing. One one is enough. One. Our retrieves the bananas, peels one from the bunch, and sticks it back inside the, the phone wave needs some change. Yay, good on you, Dara. I'll steal all of my ears bananas. We'll never reshape the fabric of society as long as money dictates this. Slums are our science. You're the only one who wants to reshape society, Oak Green. He lost all enthusiasm the second we got back to the lab. What a fickle band. Come on! Come on, come on! Start the timer already. Right, now where did I put my phone? Phone, phone. Hey, where is out? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, phone wave. Let's do it. Call complete. Instant access. Hello, this is the this is the phone wave. Name subject to change. Are you she got the system? Can operate the timer from this menu. I'm pushing the 
the number button, press the enter, press the enter, please enter the heating time in seconds. I said I should have made the music audience system skip. Well, having to wait each time is quite annoying. Shut up, press hashtag 60 for one minute, two minutes, press hashtag 120. Ah, it's finally over. Okay, entering 120, hashtag. Okay. Complete. Turntable inside the phone wave, name such change begins to spin backwards. Two minutes sure is long. Doesn't actually have to be two minutes. I heard the center timer set to two minutes when she first discovered the freezing function, or whatever it is, so we're just re reproducing that. Naturally, we have, to have experimented with 60 seconds and 180 seconds, too. If we set it shorter, the freezing only goes halfway, if at all. Conversely, setting it longer increases the effect. What happens if we go, like, like five minutes, I wonder? You know, if the mi microwave emissions are doing it, then the then shouldn't our cells be getting jellified, too? I'm still looking bored. Darth finally gets into the discussion at hand. Well, have you ever nuked yourself inside the phone wave? Name such a change. I can't even fit in there. <laughs> anyway, what's your source on the electromagnetic waves? If you must, if you must know, it's my mad scientist intuition. Oh, so no facts. <laughs> As this once said, with without one percent inspiration, ninety-nine percent of perspiration is wasted. So inventors of the world, be inspired. End quote. Wasn't it genius as one perfect percent inspiration, 99% perspiration? So I just want you, but in recent years, come to knowledge that that is misquote. Ah. <laughs> Edison said that. Be inspired? Yes, be inspired, he said. Or that was exactly what he said, but I'm sure it was something along those lines. <laughs> At least that's what the wiki said. Thanks, wi thanks, Wikipedia. No problem, Rintaro. Therefore, as a genius mad scientist, I am always... If I wait, no subject change rings. It's just going to jellify the banana like usual, isn't it? We need a new experiment. It's like I, like I wasted 120 seconds on nothing. Uh, Dar opens the phone wave, names of change door, and peeks inside. What? What? Your eyes blink several times and resumes staring into the microwave. What are you doing? Well, uh, it's... Gone. Go gone? What's gone? The banana. What is he talking? What is he talking about? Start outside and look at the phone wave. Next subject change. Oh, it's gone. Damn, we should have been looking at it the whole time. <laughs> no, I, I'm surprised they aren't. Can they? Is there not, maybe maybe there's not a clear glass uh, window on it or something? But I'd be like staring and see like what's what's it doing? Well, <laughs> it, it vaporized it. There's nothing inside. The banana has vanished without a trace. Uh. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? I'm sure pause to myself. We have my phone and speak into the silence. It's me. Side problem. We have we have awakened something terrible. We're all going to die. What, what, what do you mean something terrible? I ignore Dara's panic cry. Uh, oh my god, we're all going to die. I'm surprised too. My heart's pounding, but I try to appear calm. I'm invoking emergency order 666. Activate the cold heart protocol. What, what do you need... What do you mean we need congressional approval? There's no time, you fool. Tokyo will be blasted to atoms. Put my phone away after yelling. <laughs> you, sh you should be an actor. <laughs> Shut up, you fair stalker. Where'd you hide the banana? <laughs> who, who, who's a stalker? The banana, where is it? Are you planning on becoming a street magician or something? You're the one You're the one who hit it, aren't you? <laughs> a comfortable silence. I realize my throat is dry. Where the hell did it go? How should I know? Where did you go, banana? Banana! <laughs> yes. Oh, there you are, banana. <laughs> I take the turn to out of the microwave and scour every nook and cranny, but find neither peel nor stem of the banana. Wait, I think I get it now. It's not an electromagnetic weapon. It's a teleportation device. W what? Wait, that's absurd. How it's gonna vanish? The microwave was closed. Um, maybe we should just calm down. Yeah, you're, you're right. Oh, hmm. Should've taken all that crack earlier. We should take a deep breath. Well, I know. I'll eat one of those remaining bananas. That'll calm me down. <laughs> Reach for the bunch of bananas. Oh! Oh, what the fuck? What the? Whoa! What? Oh, that's wild. So, did I send... Am I sending it back in time, then? So now it's returned to its original position at, as att attached to the other bananas. But it, when it travels through time, it like 
becomes goopy and shit. Like that's like a byproduct of it. What the? Impossible. Impossible. Not three minutes ago, Dog picked a banana from the bunch and put it inside the phone wave named Savage Age. But now there's no, I feel, still feels the need to say that. There's no sign that a banana was ever plucked. Instead, a single jellified banana has appeared alongside the regular bananas. Oh shit, what the hell's going on? Taro knows the two. We just have to touch it, but I quickly stop him. Wait, how many bananas are in the lab right now? J just these, I, I think. Is this gel banana is attached to the same stem as the bana banana you just picked? I don't, I don't know, man. I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't look like it was ever plucked. No cuts or anything. Aside from the jellification, it looks completely normal. Hey, hey, Daru, could this possibly be... The world I, the word I spoke impulsively a few seconds ago. I said to speak it again, but I must. Because no matter how unbelievable it may be, we saw it with our own eyes. My head's full of question marks. <laughs> I like how he's, like... So he's talking about teleportation or something, right? But he, now, he's, now he's just like... He's like, oh my god, this is actually real. <laughs> this is the, the stupid inane bullshit I come up with my mind. I don't know how this happened, but if I were to explain it as I saw it, but now that was inside the phone wave, and it's had a change returned to instantly to its bunch, in other words. A teleporter! We've invented a teleporter! Uh oh? Marguerite? Uh, here goes voice coming from the lounge. That looks like an interesting experiment. Actually, it's probably the Who's there? Oh, it's just skipped a beat. Turn towards the voice in surprise. I niz you. And get pierced by a sharp stare. Impossible! What are you doing here? The ATO gold girl genius, a Satanist humiliates men in public. Also known as the zombie. Marie say, Mickey say, Kurisu! <laughs> nice exposition, bro. Who are you calling a zombie? What is the meaning of this? What is your purpose here? I'm here to see you, Agape Rintara san, or is it who is it Ho Huin Kiyoma san? Wait, how the hell did she know my real name? I never spoke in front of her. I was right, you're one of the organization's top agents, an expert with as for superhuman powers. No wonder you rose from the dead. I'm not dead, alright? Please stop stop killing me off. Hashida san? Hashida san, can you can you do something about this guy? You came at a bad time. Mikisik, she, with, with Ocarine freaking out like this. Daru doesn't seem phased by this girl's entrance. Why? Have you betrayed me, Daru? Calm down, man. Are you being blackmailed or did she seduce you? I glare at Karisu. He's my right hand, he's my right hand man. How dare you? <laughs> you crossed the line, bitch! <laughs> you going down, bitch! You going nowhere! It's a time for a little playtime! Get a hold of yourself! Chris's eyes flash dangerously, I think. Such intensity from an 18-year-old. Maybe she didn't resurrect after for her first death. Maybe she's just a robot, robot killing machine. Construct to replace the dead Karisu. Is that it? For now, I'll just do as I'm told. <laughs> so I'm scared. Hashida san gave me the address after yesterday's lecture. He also told me about you. he also told me your name. That's all? Truth is, kind of a letdown. No. Nah. <laughs> so you're here to see me, is that it? Yes, you claim to have seen me die. I came to see if that was the truth, or just a pathetic excuse to grope me. I came for the answer. Now she meant that she did treat me like I was a pervert yesterday. I wonder why that is. Just because I was grabbing her boobies. Well, I guess I should be grateful that she didn't call the cops on me after what I did. What choice did I have? Anyone would act the same way if a dead person reappeared before them. Right? Anyone? Anybody? <laughs> Shut up, crickets. <laughs> the current behavior is all the answer I need. It was all an act to grope me. My initial hypothesis was correct. Not so fast! There's more to this than you know! I must clear my name or I'll be labeled a per as a per forever! Anyway, let's put that aside for now. Really? That's a relief, I'm sure she's going to call the police. <laughs> but that, for now, part bothers me. Grease enters the, the development room with a quick, confident stride. Man, nothing to get like, wow, I, <laughs> I would feel like any normal person would be like, like, okay, I'm never gonna see this creep again, fuck this guy! Even though she's only 18, she's got a decent figure and a good posture. Giggity. Not much in the chest, though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and that's important to me. Apparently. Her presence seems to fill the camp room, driving me and Dara to the corners. <laughs> she, can't she tell the series off limits? Haven't properly introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Nikisa Kurisu. Pleased to meet you. She holds out her hand. What's she trying to do? Shoot lightning from her fingertips? Piaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Can't even shake hands? Are all Japanese men this diff difficult? Shake hands? This girl, she's asking for a handshake? We only met yesterday, just moments ago, we were, she was on the verge of calling the cops. You're, you're not Japanese? <laughs> I've lived in America for seven years. What about it? America. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking Americans. <laughs> American dogs. Look down her slender fingers. Glossy, healthy fingernails, no unnecessary nail polish. I stare fixated. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I just can't keep staring at my hand or you to fucking shake it. Damn! Slowly I extend my hand, make sure to keep enough weight on my feel so I can flee it in a moment's notice. I let it grab the tip of <laughs> Chris's index finger between my thumb and index finger, then I let go instantly. <laughs> ah! Ah! It's hot! Ah! Ah! Oh god, I got your cooties on me! No! What's your problem? I can feel your aura of malice. You must be a powerful kung fu master. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Then you're a ninja! <laughs> Give it a rest! Damn, she's completely cold. Her tone gets scary sometimes, too. Ah, my balls are beside me. If you grew up in America, shouldn't you say, Ah, nice to meet you, with a smile across your old face hat when asking for a handshake? <laughs> yeah, cause that's what I do when I'm... Uh, Cause I'm I'm fucking a mirror. That's what I do. I come in really like I'm like ah, nice to meet you. Ah. And then they go ah, oh, it's nice to meet you too. Blah, blah, blah. And then we just dance in front of each other for like three minutes, and then we smack our asses and we move on. <laughs> Cause that's the regular American shave and shake. If you're not in America, seriously, go and do that. Seriously, anyone. That's exactly what will happen every single time. It's great. God, I love this country. Okay, what do I get? Oh, Yuri. <laughs> I remember, you used to go around shouting bird and stuff. Why do you, why do boys want fire powers? I think flower powers or fleshy powers would be cuter, don't you? Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't reply to this one. Oh, uh, that's right, Mira, you little goober. No, wait, you should be asking for a hug, right? Perhaps that's much, too much expecting from a kill, expect from a killing machine. What kind of stereotype is that? Increase your size. She's not even looking at me. So she's staring at the bananas next to the phone wave. Maybe something to change. Bananas which have exhibited a most unusual phenomenon. Of the bunch, one is completely jellified. Fascinating. Carissa brings her face closer to it to get a good look. Have any forceps? No! <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh. The Carissa stabs the gelatinous banana with her finger, index finger. She bears her beautiful fingertip to knuckle deep into the slimy banana. What are you doing? That's precious data! It's squishy. Grisu extracts her finger. Plate pieces of gel cling to her fingertip. Puts that fingertip in her mouth without any hesitation. <laughs> ah! Ew! Gir damn, girl! I at least, like, sniff it once to even smell like a banana anymore. Like, <laughs> before I start eating it. No taste. Gross. She says with a straight face. You have quite the appetite, I see. A side effect of the resurrection, perhaps. If you're that hungry, I guess I can give you a banana or two. No, th no thanks. Either way, those bananas are my Yushis. Come, don't be shy. This is an offering. Take it. Take it and leave, please. Spare me. As as if. Who would eat some purse banana? <laughs> ah! <laughs> a purse banana. Oh my god. Yes. Doris are shaking as though he's been electrocuted. Mm. <laughs> I I sense a disturbance in my pants. Well, what's wrong? Eat a purse banana. Squishy finger and mouth. Gross with a sour expression. Looks like it's creating a pervert processor is overclocking. Um, can you say it one more time? With a with a more humiliating expression, if you please. Huh? <laughs> Come on, say who would eat some purse banana? But if you could add in an ah, but it's so after that, it would be extra delicious. Oh please, please! Do it for me, I'm begging you! <laughs> I haven't gotten any action in ever! Huh huh? Huh? <laughs> It's like Kreese's face turns turns bright red. Wow! Oh, Daru, you may be a worthless, disgusting purr, but let me say, well done, sir. <laughs> Payback is sweet. <laughs> now develop with for a maximum combo. Let's show this conceited little girl how true adults fight. So, Makisa Kreese, you just imagined something, didn't you? By all means, tell us. Tell us what. Don't be shy. <laughs> Why you? Come on, say it, genius girl. What's the imagination of a genius like? I'd like to I'd love to hear from you. You ass! <laughs> Greasy turns her back to us with perked shoulders. <laughs> Looks like she's capable of expressing human emotion after all. That rules out robotic killing machine. Balls. Ah, I feel refreshed. 
I haven't felt this good in years. Way to go, Daru. That's my right-hand man. Always gets the job done. First penis. <laughs> First his penis, and then me. <laughs> I, I get it. You're both pervs. Well, y you could say that. Don't admit it, you idiot. I want to hear that from you. <laughs> okay, if I come off as, as a little rude, I apologize. Your size size deep turns back to us. Pusher's already returned. I was only acting like because you molested me, but I'll ignore that for now. <laughs> I wish you would stop saying that for now. It's like she's gonna call the cops on me later. Please tell me what happened to this banana. I'd also like to hear about that. I should glance at the phone wave. Name such a change. That microwave thing. That's top secret. The one thing I'm cleared to share with unauthorized individuals is that its name is the phone wave name subject to change. Name subject to change? What's that about? Phone wave is weak. He's a better name. I couldn't care less about his name. Afraid that are the only information you're clear for. Hold on, Ocarine. Ocarine. Hold on, Ocarine. Maki says she might be able to explain what's going on. Well, she's a genius. She would have to be to defeat to be to defeat my sharp wit. We can't trust we can trust her intellect at least. But it's hard to stomach her attitudes. Plus, she's in danger. He has danger written on her face. Not to mention, she's a little scary, too. <laughs> Not to mention, I'm slightly terrified of her. Then, I get a great idea. That's a creepy grin. Are you thinking, of, are you thinking perverted thoughts again? You said your name's Christina, right? What? Who the hell's Christina? I never said that. Christina sounds like the name of, Hollywood film, of a Hollywood film star. Definitely has a more flavor than the real, her, her real name. If you wish to learn the secrets of this microwave, then you must meet my conditions. Which are? Condition one, you must become a, become a lab me mem. Ra Robin? <laughs> no, lab men, stupid. Stupid? Short for lab, laboratory member. You mean you want me to join your research team? I'm supposed to return to, I'm supposed to, return to America in August. I'll have you sign a non-disclosure agreement so that you won't, so you won't betray our secrets. Break the agreement and I'll pour your steamy bird axe to science magazine. <laughs> You're a monster, Ocarine. I'll take five. I'll take five coffees. <laughs> From the moment you became a you become a lab member to the moment of your departure, your brain shall be used for the benefit of our lab. You're so full of it. Let's see the contract then. What contract? This is a lab, not a corporate corporation. I don't mind letting you my knowledge, but there's no. But there. If, but if there's more pervy Nazis involved, the answer is no. Don't worry, we don't bite. Well, guitar does sometimes. <laughs> no, uh, no more molestation. No, all right. <laughs> you said that was condition one. So it's gotta be a second one, right? Better not be. Second condition is show me your boobs. <laughs> Ow! You will overlook all past acts of molestation I may or may not have committed. <laughs> Ocarine, you're Ocarine, you're so petty. You're the you're the pettiest person I've ever met. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. <laughs> I love you so. This is why I hang out with you. <laughs> is it? Oh, oh, that's from. Okay, also from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I've never actually seen that show before. Uh, that's why we love you. That's why we admire you. Quotation from the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Used to express all of someone's capabilities, often used sarcastically in reference to negative character traits such as pettiness. I see. Okay. Shut up, Daru. You have no right to talk. By the way, Daru's perverted acts aren't included. You two can. You two can work it out yourselves. What the hell, man? <laughs> Those are the conditions. If you can't accept them, you must leave at once. Ha! So will it be? I don't think it's a bad deal at all. You mean for you? Carissa puts her finger to her brow and shakes her head in an exaggerated gesture. Jeez, I feel like I'm hy hy hyper secreting non noradrenaline. Let me pick my jaw off the floor. I don't care about your dislocated jaw. Do you accept the conditions or not? Answer me, Christina! <laughs> Stop adding Tina! My name's Carissa. Carissa looking at the ceiling to calm herself down. Everyone in America makes such exaggerated gestures. Sooner or later, she'll say, Damn! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I like how he said, he said it in the way that I say it in my most real. Oh my god! <laughs> or motherfucker! Motherfucker! In my seven voice. Damn! Damn! <laughs> okay, I, I accept. Ha! Good answer. From this for moment forth, you are a lab man, number four. Welcome, Christina. Codename the Zombie. <laughs> I won't answer to either. Use my real name, Yo. 
Oh, oh, Ian. Oh, Queen. I never say that totally right, am I? Cinnamon is staring at each other now. Mm. 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 <laughs> he's the first to look away. Just so in a way that says, Good grief. <laughs> You're such a child. You say something, genius perv girl. Oh, come on. No more saying perv. I won't treat you like a perv either, so let's drop it already. As long as you understand. Now for the issue at hand. Oh, give, give Christina. No Tina either. Give Karisu Kun an explanation on our experiment so far. But I refuse. Is that a. Is that. Is that. 2001 Space Odyssey? No, that's also from. That, okay. <laughs> I thought that was like referring to uh, Hal going, <laughs> I refuse to open the pod bay door or whatever. Internet is used frequently to, as a cool way to turn someone down. Uh -huh. Aha. We, and we all want to be cool on the internet. In the end, I'm the one who has to explain. Along the way, I also relate the tale of my heroic deeds, which enrages, which enrages Carisu, of course. But I finally tell her everything about the bananas and the phone wave. Didn't subject change. But Carisu doesn't ask any questions. She's quick to understand, as expected of a genius. Fascinating. Let's hear your opinion. I think we at least throw out completely worthless th theories like electromagnetic weaponry and teleportation. The lady doth protest too much. Can we read the experiment one more time? I want to see for myself. Without waiting for approval, Greasy plucks an untouched banana and sticks it in the microwave, and starts entering the commands on her phone. It's strange. She's still wearing her usual frown, but I can't shake the feeling that she's really enjoying herself. If I put my finger on why, call it a hunch. But, I mean, she's a scientist. Why shouldn't she be? She enjoy experimenting. Yeah, I want to see, is, what's going to happen? Is the banana going to, like, materialize where it was before? Akabe-san, Ishida-san, please, please watch the bananas. Who are you to give orders? I'm the mad scientist, yo! Yeah. Whatever, just keep your eye on the fucking bananas! Okay, she's a little snippy. Darn, I do as we're told and stare at the bananas. Okay, yeah, let's see what happens. To be told, we were planning to watch the bananas anyway. After the first, after missing it the first time, we'd be determined to witness the what transpired with our own eyes. Sixty, 60 seconds have passed. Any change? No. Any second now, the gelfly banana should appear, reappear on the stip. This only happens once. We can't just call it an accident and be done with it. But if it happens twice, that's the proof that something actually going on. And then Chris will have to admit that I, the great Hyohyun Kyoma, Hyohyun Kyoma, will have invented humanity's first teleporter. I'm staring at the bananas in anticipation. 100 seconds. A few moments after Chris's report. Oh! Ah! <coughs> ah! <coughs> Damn! I blinked! <coughs> it didn't like. Oh, I, th I thought it might like kind of like grow into it, like ooze into it. <coughs> like a fucking snake. <coughs> but nope, it just in the blink of a fucking eye, like ding! <coughs> Ah! Jibana suddenly appears without a sound. Now there are two of them in the bunch. Half them faster in the blink of an eye. It appeared. Not a loss for words. Just when it's the unthinkable. This phenomenon is clearly teleportation. Microwave chim timer chimes. Three superiors in the microwave is stumped. How does it look? Uh oh, uh. Uh, at 104 seconds, it disappears abruptly. Yeah. She's quite flustered. I don't think many people could remain calm for waiting such a phenomenon. Yeah, I'd be like, what? No fucking way, that's so cool. I'd be doing that like, I'd be like, what else can you get? And I'd be throwing everything in there, everything I could find. I'm like, like, let's make this thing goopy, and this thing goopy, and this thing. How about a hard drive? How about a computer monitor? How about a fucking person? Get in there. And like, oh my God, get me in it. Get in there, Moshe Riga. I don't want to do it in there. So it is a teleporter, the first in human history. Chrissy qu quickly calms down. She furrows her brow, crosses her arms, tapping her right foot as she mutters to herself. Teleportation? Is that even possible? It didn't it did move, no matter how unbelievable that may be. Could it be quantum teleportation? No, that only occurs on the quantum level. Don't open your eyes to the truth. What you see with your own eyes is everything. Gives me a sharp look. Her eyes are like a sniper's hard and keen. Did it really teleport? It's dangerous to reason from the conclusion. Well then, genius girl, what do you call this phenomenon? Let's sort this out. Neither the banana, bunch, nor the frozen chicken teleported, correct? So, maybe there's a size limit for objects that can teleport. But those aren't chicken pieces, aren't those chicken pieces smaller than bananas? We use the same chicken for each experiment. They come in 12 packs. Apparently only buys her favorite, juicy chicken number one. <laughs> mm. well, that's quite a lot of them. What about salt? You experiment with salt too, right? 
Used a handful of table salt on a plate for one experiment. Nothing happened. Maybe the maybe maybe the plate was in the way. Of course, we tried it without the plate, but that didn't change anything. Then maybe each individual grain of salt was too small or something. Hmm, I need a clue. Oh, oh I need a clue. It's like our genius girl's fighting a hard battle. She starts pacing the room, looking a little, a little annoyed. Anything else? Have you noticed anything else about the phone wave? No, not phone wave. Phone wave. Name sounded change. <laughs> Forget about that. So, have you noticed anything or not? Chris is looking at Dar. Who looks like she's asking him, not me. True. He should know more about the phone wave. Name sounded change than I do. He's all. He's not all the maintenance on after all. Oh right. One one time it shot off a huge electrical discharge. What? Or what? I didn't know anything about that. It's because you weren't around when it happened. Discharge? How much? Or, Discharge how much? So I, sorry, it, sometimes it's hard to tell. I wish they put the names like up in the corner like they did for like Phoenix Riot or something, just because it made it easy for me to just immediately see, okay, who's talking? And then I can just go into it, but I have to kind of like, gaze, I have to revert my gaze down more to, to see this, and it's kind of hard to, so tiny. Uh. It was like a fluorescent light lit up in the development room. It lasted about two seconds, I guess. What were the circumstances? I was adjusting the cell phone attached to it. I unhooked it and, it and put in my own. A little bit later, Sparky Sparky. When, when was that? Around noon yesterday, when you went to see Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. Dr. Nakabachi. That's right, I went to see Dr. Nakabachi's conference yesterday. Think of it, he stole his... Time travel theory from John Titter. Hmm. Oh, is that? I see. So he attached his phone to that, and then I sent the message, and that's what caused it. So right now, the messages I'm sending aren't because maybe he's. I get. Did he take his phone back out of it? Because he attached his phone to it. Interesting. I mean, the current John Titter is actually Nakabachi. But wait, Dar. Didn't you say that Doctor Nakabachi's presentation was canceled? But yeah, you went. Yeah, but you went with Mayu, Mayushi anyway, remember? No, I don't remember that. For all Nakabachi's presentation wasn't canceled the way I remember it. I still don't understand why memories seem to disagree with everyone else's. It reminds me, I sent you an email back then. Did you get it? An email? That email showed me at ATF yesterday. When I nod, Karis, Karisu comes closer. It says someone stabbed me at the presentation, didn't it? Yeah, but for some reason, Daru's phone received it a week ago. Huh? Was that? Oh no, he plugged it. But he plugged his phone in yesterday. But he's uh, so he plugged his phone in the same time I sent the message. Although technically he didn't get the message till a week before or something. Ugh. Huh? Wasn't that one of your stories? If it wasn't, then what? Then that would make it that make the timestamp weird. I always speak the truth. If you don't trust me, I'll show you my send history. Put out my phone and call up the history. But uh, it, it's gone. Not a trace of that mail remains. According to my memory, I think it was about 30 minutes after Dr. Nakabashi's conference. About 10 people saw, including me, saw Carice's body, panicked, and fled Radio Kaiken. That's where I, when I sent that mail. But no matter how many times I checked, there's no record of it. It should be there, but it isn't. Just like the banana inside the phone wave, name said change. Where'd it go? I could've sworn I sent it just before 1 p.m. Oh yeah, that's when the destru discharge phenomenon happened. The show I was, I was watching was about to end. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration strikes. Okay, it is, so yeah. Have at the same time. Inspiration! Edison would be proud. This isn't something you can accomplish with effort. Basically, I'm a genius. I, I turned into Daru and Carissa with a grin up, huge grin on my face. I get it. So that's what happened. Uh, what? Oh, this is one of Ocarine's usual habits, so don't mind it. Seriously. Silence! I have reached the answer. Now the world will tremble. Tremble. I slapped the top of the phone wave. Name subject change. The disappearance of my mail, the strange time step, and the sudden electrical discharge must be... Related somehow. <laughs> and? Huh? I understand that they're related somehow, but but how? It's your job to figure that out, Christina. <laughs> Is she just on talk to, talking to this guy's so tiring. <laughs> Everyone's like that at first. The trick's not to take him seriously. <laughs> and you call yourself my right-hand man. Whatever, I'll prove that I'm right. If we can reproduce an electrical discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to understanding the timestamp mystery. Dar, Dar described the phone wave news subject change status when the discharge phenomenon occurred. 
It was kind of a mess. I, I connected my phone to the phone wave, and I was testing to see if I could control it with the X68000. I disconnect the phone, plugged into the phone wave, and he said, change to replace it with mine. And then I hear the door open in the lounge. I'm home! So hungry! Uh-oh. Oh, no, she might be bummed to see some of the... Well, we didn't use all the bananas this time. We have a few left. Yay! <laughs> Here it comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Nee. Hello. Looks like she's done with done with work. Tom needs some chicken. Juicy chicken number one. Ocarine, did you buy the bananas? Ocarine? She enters the development room, her eyes go wide. Huh? We have a guest? When she knows his Carissa, Mayuri bows her head with her usual smile. I'm Yushi. Nice to meet you. I'm a Kisa. Apparently I'm a lab member now. Really? That's great! Another girl lab mem! Dar, what were you doing at the 68,000? I think 68,000. Like I said, I was adjusting the incoming mail settings. I was monitoring the, mo the moment I received the mail for remote control. That's why I put it in freezing mode for 120 seconds, too. I'm, I made it so that you can start freezing mode by computer. I tested that out yesterday, too. But Yuri, insert juicy chicken number one into the phone wave. Need something to change. <laughs> Oh no, stop putting- Why do we keep putting Mayuri's food in there? Can we put, like, something else? It's not her food? <laughs> Everyone's so bad for Mayuri, like... You all want some? I can give you one- I can give you one each! The usual did scene is Mayuri puts the chicken inside the microwave. <laughs> Dar- Daru explains what everything- What everything on the computer monitor means. Doesn't look- Look that different from using DOS. I enter 120 hashtag on the computer and strike the key. Oh wait, new such chain starts up. Juicy chicken number one starts spinning backwards on the turntable. Kreisu stares at the phone wave, new such chain zips not let to not let an any anomaly, no matter how slight, escape her notice. So we reproduce the conditions that existed when the discharge phenomenon occurred, right? Uh how was it again? You there, assist it! <laughs> huh? Me? Who else? <laughs> when did I become your assistant? Just send something to my phone. If we pre-produce conditions correctly, and then if something she sends something to my phone while it's getting to the phone wave, so change, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. My assistant Kreese who just scowls. I don't even know your email address. What a useless assistant. <laughs> don't call me your assistant. Daru, send an email from my from your phone. Uh sure, but what? Anything! Uh um <laughs> Send Chris send Christina as a perv. <laughs> I thought we agreed to stop saying that. Well, let's compromise and go with uh, uh, Ocarina's a perv. You traitor! Good job, Ashita san. Kriso gr grins and gives Daru a thumbs up. I really, really don't like this. Damn, they're ganging up against me! <laughs> oh no, Mushi's bananas! Oh no, I just knew that would happen! No! I'm sorry, Miyuri. Sounds like Miyuri has found the results of our latest experiment. They became Joe Bananas! We experimented on them. But they were Miyushis! Want me, want me to send the mail now? He'll be reimbursed later by, by Yohan's, Yohan's son, that is. Why me? Jeez, why do you always have to experiment on Miyushi's food? Oh, don't tell me you're experimenting on the chicken, too! We are. <laughs> okay, sending it now. Sending, sending, click. Yuri slips past me, steps up to the active phone wave, and he started to change. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, before she, anyone can react, she grabs the handle. No, 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 no. Wait, don't open that! Huh? But it's too late. Ah! Oh, dicks, what do we do? Blue white light fills the room, crackling angrily like the heat at heart of a storm. Electrical discharge? A violent sparking sound. I grab my ear and pull her away from the phone wave. No sound to change. <laughs> Keep saying it. <laughs> uh, are we gonna die? <laughs> yes, we're gonna die. It's all your fault. Daru, we're gonna die. Uh oh. What in the fucking testicles? <laughs> I better check my phone. Uh. Did I click something? Oh. Ah! Then cloud of smoke fills the room. It smells like something's burning. My eyes are numb from the flashing light. Try playing several times to regain my sight. I hear Kar Karisu and Daru coughing. 
everyone okay? Somehow. That was definitely more than two seconds. Mary squeezed my brow with her slender fingers. Oh, oh great, well, well, what just happened? <laughs> that vision got, gradually returns. Mary looks perplexed. Are you okay? No burns or anything. It doesn't hurt anywhere, so I think I'm okay. Looks like covering Miuri was the right choice. I'm gonna be insane mad scientist, but I still risk life to limb for the safety of my comrades. I, I gently let Miuri out of my embrace. Whew, that was what? Well, that was something. I have to sweat off my brow. Hey, look at this! Bruce's voice is strained. My vision is finally restored. I take another look around the room. What I see strikes me speechless. Oh! Our table in the center of the room is made of thick, solid wood. Hold about five or six people without breaking. That's why we placed the phone wave names so I've changed it in the 68,000, X68,000 on it. The table is in split in two as if, though, as if by a woodcutter's axe. The computer and the other parts connected to the microwave are scattered across the floor. And the microwave itself has broken through the table. Whoa! It literally, it's literally stuck in the floor. Wow. Damn, they got heavy. <laughs> Was it trying to fit everything in there or something? When she opened the door? What? what the hell? How did that... Yeah, it's a microwave, but it's not heavy enough to make a hole in the floor. This can't be caused by electrical discharge. Some other phenomenon? Shake my off my surprise. There's no time to be standing about with jaw agape, Yohan Kiola. Seize the moment! <laughs> Just as my calculations predicted. For some maniacal laughter. Next, I try to take out my phone and do the usual, but unfortunately, it's still plugged into the phone wave. Next, I change. <laughs> El Sai Kongru. I whisper the words. Words that have no meaning. <laughs> words I see you simply because they sound cool. These words have meaning because they have no meaning. <laughs> El Sai Kongru. El Sai Kangaroo. My psychic kangaroo friend that lives in my brain. After years of repeated use, just speaking them is enough to call my heart. Now, go, go, gadget, kangaroo! So, about Miyushi's chicken. <laughs> eh? Mary stands up and looks inside the phone wave and something's changed. It's a bed in the floor, but somehow manage she somehow manages to pry the door open. Ah, uh, my Miyushi's chicken's all burnt to burnt black! I pat Miyushi's shoulders to cheer her up. Choosing chicken number one made a soulful sacrifice to the progress of science. Let's uh, pray for his happiness in the next life. <laughs> Chicken doesn't matter right now. We need to determine what happened with the film. It doesn't matter. That's so mean. Uh, Christina Chan. <laughs> hey, Hillwin, Hillwin, kill Do something about this. Maybe she learned the, my name wrong. <laughs> More poorly. We need ventilation. Uh, <coughs> Silence, all of you. Silence. Fix everyone with an overpowering stare. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeeded and brought humanity a step forward in a new direction. So I have no right to ruin that with, with their foolish talk. My heart pounding, I detach my phone from the phone wave, names out of change. Luckily, it's completely on heart. Thank God. Thanks, thanks, Verizon. You make your phones fucking sturdy. I can throw, I can run over with a fucking steamroller. <laughs> okay, maybe not that strong. Open it. Still, it still works. I bring up the list of received emails. Oh, what the hell? I got a few new ones down here. New emails should come up at the top. However, my heart beats even faster. Oh, and I got them from five days ago. Topmost email isn't the one Darrow sent before the discharge occurred. This possible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. Look back through my email history, and there, I find it. Uh. Oh, green's up. Mwah! 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 Yes! All according to my evil demon plans. Success. I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proves it. We received this email on July 4th, five days ago. It was the exact same thing that happened to my someone stabbed Karisu email. My email sent on the 29th arrived on the 24th, and it seems to be split up again. Just now, the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. It all connects. There's meaning behind this series of events, and only one true answer. I discovered the phone wave needs to its true hidden function. This is intuition. That's right. This is conviction. Spit it already. What do you think it is? I feel my lips twist into a grin. I meet Carice's glance at glare head on. First, let me say one thing. The greatest inventions are created by accident. This is what we call serendipity. 
get on with it! How dare you ruin my speech! Oh well, let's get to the point. The mail was sent to the past. The chicken returned to its frozen state. The plucked banana returned to the bunch. No way. Creasy seems to get it now, as expected of my genius assistant. Yes, way. This is the choice of Steins Gate. The phone wave needs something to change. It is a time machine. Ba -ba -ba. Time travel paranoia. Fuck yeah. Chapter 2, Interpreter Rendezvous. What perfectly delightful timing that was. Yes. And well, this is a great time to end this video. Oh my god. So much fucking craziness happening. That was wild. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but okay. So if it is a time machine. But it seems like this one didn't affect anything, did it? Or maybe it did. We don't even realize it. It seems like, but it, it was strange that if, if I, I thought it would, the the message would be opened. I assumed that me and my in the past would have opened it, right? Right? Why wouldn't I? But it wasn't. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well, anyway, I'm gonna end it here for now, guys. Anyway, like for if you enjoy, subscribe now, become pick a big one aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.